Hey guys, how we doing? Snuck in. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched the first three innings. I was pleased to wake up to that, though. I think he's got, um, you know, unbelievable transition, uh, his ability to get in and out of cuts. And he uses that, you know, to, to his advantage. Um, you know, each guy's got their own skill sets in the way that they do things, and I think that's certainly his strength. And, um, you know, I think he's done a nice job for us. Had a great adjustment and catch on the touchdown last week, too. You know, really the only spot you could put the throw, and it's not an easy catch when you're going full speed flying that way and to get it on the back shoulder. Uh, he made it look really easy. And so, you know, he runs routes with great transition, great speed, and uh, he's doing a really good job for us. Has, that, has it been the same or similar since you started working with him as a rookie, or have you seen an evolution there over the four, three plus years? Oh, well, I think he's gotten craftier, you know, for sure, uh, and has, you know, a better feel for, uh, you know, what kind of releases he wants to use for certain types of routes and how to get, you know, body position that he wants. I think he's he's much further along with that than he was when he first got here. But he always had he always had the fast twitch and the ability to be able to do it. I think he just he has a better plan uh, when he comes to the line of scrimmage. Does a great job with it. Uh, Matt, just uh, getting what did it mean to uh, getting uh, Russell Gage back in the offense and, and, and you know after missing him for a few games. Yeah, I think it was it was great for us. Um, you know, Russ is he's a good player. And um, showed up big on the touchdown pass. Uh, I think you know, getting back into the rhythm was good for him too. You know, he was he was out for an extended period of time, and um, it's hard. You know, it's hard when you're not in the rhythm week in and week out. But I thought he did a nice job for us. Came up with a big play right out of the half, and um, you know, I only see that kind of picking up for us as we keep going. And uh, Jay, could you speak to the job he's done uh, playing, and uh, you know, with leading the group up front? I think Jake, you know, quietly goes about his business and, you know, he's about as, as underrated or unsung uh, of, a, of a guy as there is. Um, he's durable. I mean, he's out there every week and uh, he's, he's just technically sound, really good technique when it comes to pass protection, really good technique in the run game, plays hard for us. Uh, he's a great leader by example. You know, I think a, a really good um, – He's got a really good template of, of how he prepares himself, you know, week in and week out that the young guys can look at and say, that's that's how you do it. And uh, I think that's been really good for us. And then run game wise, uh, looked like it was quarter real week last week, but coach said it's going to be a week to week thing. Uh, just where are y'all at with, uh, you know, doing whatever y'all need to do to get the running game uh, going? I think, you know, that's, that's kind of the theme, um, you know, whether it's run game or pass game, it's, Everybody's, you know, going to be involved, and whatever we have to do to be efficient and to move the ball, uh, we're going to try and do. And I think in the run game, you know, I've always believed it takes all eleven guys on the field, you know, operating and kind of rowing in the same direction. If we can do that, you know, use use our backs. Uh, Mike, you know, Mike had a huge run for us in that game too. On a third down situation, uh, we got beat up front, but he made a guy miss and converts on the third down. I mean, the the timeliness of some of the plays that he's had this year you know, has, has been huge for us. So I think both those guys have done a good job. We need to continue to work at it and try and improve. When, when, when people talk about trust with, 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 a, uh, with a quarterback, they often talk about guys that you're throwing to. But, but the guys up front having trust in a guy like Jake, you, don't, you just know he's going to do his job. How, did, can that apply to guys up front? And how valuable is it to have that trust in Jake over the years that you've had? Oh, yeah. You know, it, it applies to everybody. You know, I, I think often the narrative becomes about quarterback wide receiver, but, um, you know, so much of it has to do with trusting your guys up front and, you know, um, you, you know, believing they're going to get the job done. And, and our guys, it may, they make it easy to trust them because they, they're so well prepared. You know, they, they really do a good job and a credit to our coaching staff too, offensive line coaching staff. Um, you know, Coach Led does a good job with those guys. Chandler does a good job with them. And, um, you know, gets those guys ready to go week in and week out, has them prepared for multiple different things that we might see. Um, but it's also on the player. You know, you, you, have to, you have to find a way 
to make sure that you're ready to go, and those guys have done a great job. So I have a lot of faith and, and trust in, in not only Jake, but really the entire group up front. Jarvis? Uh, Matt, so I asked Coach uh, Smith about you know, 12 personnel and like, why, is that, why can that be so difficult to defend? With the guys that you all have and Kyle Pitts and Hayden Hurst, like, what type of problems does that present for a defense? Like, what makes that so difficult for uh, a, dif a defense coordinator to say, okay, this time we're going to defend this package? Well, I think it, it's just, you know, you've got versatile players, guys that, you know, are big and strong and physical and are willing uh, and able in the run game to block and, and do the things you want to do. So if you want to defend, you know, the passing game, the speed and, and – uh, the ability that they have with corners and playing nickel defense, you know, you can go in and feel like you have an advantage running the football uh, because they're in smaller personnel. And then the opposite is true. If, if, if they're, you know, going to try and take away what we, we could do in the run game with some bigger personnel, you feel like you can spread people out uh, or put guys in different spots to get matchups that you feel like are favorable on your end. Guys with the speed and, and versatility, you know, that our guys have make that possible. You know, it's, uh, it takes it takes unique type of players um, to be able to do those things and to create matchup problems. And you know we're lucky we we have some guys uh, that we ask to do a lot of different things and they're capable of doing that. Yeah, what type of uh, problems does the Carolina defense you know present for you? Yeah, I think they're very good. Uh, I think you know they've they've drafted um, seems like exclusively on that side of the ball the last couple of years and they've added very talented uh, players, young guys that uh, fly around the ball, um, you know, play extremely hard. Um, I think that's the thing that, that jumps out at you when you watch them early in the week is just the effort uh, and the physicality that they play with. I think, um, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, they're playing very well. Josh? Do you believe in the concept of a shutdown corner, a guy that you just won't test if it's man? Yeah, but then I also believe in – you know, exceptional wide receivers and, and tight ends that we have too. You know, I, I've, I've been on both sides. I've played against, you know, some guys that, you know, are some of the best corners in the league. But when you trot out there with a guy like Roddy White or Julio Jones at different points in my career, or Calvin Ridley, you feel pretty good about whoever you're going against. Um, I have a lot of respect for for corners in this league. It's a hard job. Um, and it's it's never a slight at them. I just have so much belief in the, in the guys that we have. Who are the guys in the past through, throughout your career? have been most cognizant of where they were? Um, I go back to early on. You know, he ended up being a teammate of mine, but Asante Samuel uh, in Philadelphia, he got me a few too many times. Uh, <laughs> uh, he let me know about it when he came here, too. <laughs> uh, you know, Revis, uh, you know, was, was tough. Um, you know, Josh Norman was really good uh, in, in Carolina going against him twice a year. Uh, even when I, in my younger days, Aqib Tlaib and, um, you know, in, in Tampa when he was there, just young, talented corner, very aggressive. Um, you know, I played against a lot of good ones, you know, during my time. But I've always been fortunate to have, you know, really good players on our side of the ball too, guys that I always had confidence in. He's long, you know, he, he's long. He's got really good speed, um, just a really good feel. You know, I think it comes with, with corners. It's all about the guys that have instinct and um, you just ha have great instinct in terms of pattern recognition, but then also have either the speed or the length to be able to recover uh, at times when they're out of position. And, um, you know, he certainly has that going against him, you know, every day during training camp. You know, you have to be on point, and, and it's great work for, for our wide receivers uh, and for myself going against guys like that. Um, it's going to prepare you to go against some of the best players in the league, and he's certainly one of them. Yeah, I know we asked you a lot about uh, Kyle Pitts as well, but what are some things that you've kind of learned about him that you can only learn about a guy in live game situations? Yeah, I think, I think it's just, um, you know, the, the calmness he plays with. You know, he's, he's pretty – Low key, he's pretty chill most of the time, uh, day to day. But you never know until you get into game situations how guys, you know, emotionally are going to be out there, what their, um, you know, what their personality is going to be like. Because a lot of people 
it's a little bit different. You know, when the lights come on and, and you're out there and you're in live action, um, it becomes just a little bit different. And he's, he's the same. I mean, he really is. He just he goes about his business. He's never too high, never too low. Um, he just he's got a really calming presence out there, and uh, it shows up, you know, in critical situations. I mean, there's there's just no hesitation in his game. I know you said you only watched the first three innings last night, mostly, but uh, how exciting is something like this for the city of Atlanta? And I asked you that just because a few years ago when you guys won the Super Bowl. Do you remember like the buzz around town, or, or did you not know this? Oh, you definitely feel it. It's awesome. And, um, I, you know, I've got young kids. I've got young boys, and they're fired up. We were in their Brave jerseys last night. We're watching the pregame. Uh, they're running around the house playing baseball. I mean, it, it's, it's awesome to see. Uh, and particularly, you know, this team has been so easy to root for uh, with the way that, you know, they battled throughout the year, kind of turned it on when they needed to. You've got some new guys coming in, providing energy. Uh, Solaire with the home run to start the game last night. It's just – it's a fun team to watch. It's a fun team to root for. And, um, you know, and I definitely feel it. You feel it driving around town. You're pumping gas or whatever. You see things, you know, going on. It's, it's cool to see. And, um, you know, I'm fired up. Hopefully, you know, Friday maybe I'll get to watch a little bit more Sunday night. You never know. Maybe clinch something and get the job done. It would be cool. Would it be something that, like, on a, on a Friday or on Sunday, maybe you guys got a one, would you consider going to the game? Would that be, like, an option for you? Or do you think maybe your teammates would be? Well, I got three and a half year old boys that are ready to trick or treat Sunday night, so uh, I don't think I'll be going to that game. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty positive about that. We'll be watching though. Are you dressing up for Halloween? I am not. No, my little yeah, my little guys are, are getting ready to go. Luckily, I get to pass on uh, on having to dress up, uh, dress up. I think it's with game day. I got to pass, so it's it's okay. Anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you. Oh, sorry. In your past, it felt like. In the fourth quarter, you're waiting on the next thing to go wrong, and that seemed to kind of snowball throughout the year. Now that you've got things going right, and that's been the way in your past before, does that kind of snowball when people just kind of now expect you're going to make the game-winning play? Yeah, I believe that. You know, I think momentum, you know, works in both directions. And, um, you know, an old coach, Steve Logan, my offensive coordinator, my last year at BC, would always tell me when it's, when it's you know, when it's going tough, you just hang on. You hang on as best you can, and when it's going – you know, your way, you get all you can get. And, and that's a message. When, when the momentum's on your side, you go get everything you can get. And, um, you know, I think that's, you know, that's part of this league, creating momentum, uh, getting yourself, you know, confident in those situations, creating belief. You know, it's something we talked about four or five weeks ago. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's starting to build. We've got a long way to go, but it's definitely starting to build. Where, where, where are you guys with, with your uh, red zone offense? Numbers seem to uh, suggest that it's trending in the right direction. Where do you think you guys are with that? I think it's been pretty good. We've been coming away with touchdowns when we've gotten down there. You know, you'd like to, you'd like to, you know, get down there more often. Um, sometimes the stats can get skewed. You know, end of the game last week is a red zone visit, but yeah, right. you know, you do exactly what you needed to do there. So, I think it comes down to situationally being really good. Um, but I think for the most part, you know, we, we've done a nice job down there. We need to continue to to do that. You know, if you're if you're successful in that area, it makes a big difference scoring touchdowns as compared to kicking field goals. So this is going to be weird, random, but I want to ask you since I got here: Do you pay much attention to actor Matt Ryan? The what? To the actor Matt I Ryan? I do. I no, I do not. I, I, I guess I gotta take a peek at it. Yeah, I really don't even know who he is. Yeah. Oh, really? No. Yeah, no, yeah, no he's played Constantine. I I didn't I didn't know that. I gotta check it out. Yeah, is he good? He's good. I think he's good. Yeah, I enjoy him. Namesake. Yeah, it's. I'm sure he is. He's got to be, right? <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering. No, I do not. Ever, like, came up ever. That's the first question. That's the first time I got it. Anything else? All right. All right thank you guys. Have a great day.